Hey Earth Signs, it's about that time for your collective reading. So for the Earth Signs, I have um, Taurus and Virgo's love reading, individual love reading up on my channel. So you could go ahead and check that out when you're done. Libra will be next. Libra will be uploaded today. But this is going to be what you need to focus on or what you need to hear before the new year for the earth signs, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. I already did this for the fire signs, so if you have fire placements, definitely make sure you go check it out. Shout out to my mom. She got me these two new decks for Christmas. These were um, a few of my mini gifts. This one is the Hip Hop Queen's Oracle, and this one is Believe in Your Own Magic Oracle. Just in case y'all would like to pick it up. But this is going to be what you need to know or focus on before the new year. So, if you'd like to book your personal reading, you can do so through the link in my description box. Tips are greatly appreciated. Thank you to everyone who has tipped um, previously. My cash app and my PayPal is in the description box. And definitely make sure you um, follow my Instagram. I'll be doing a deal with these two new decks. If you're new to my channel and if you're new to me in general, um, when I get new decks, I do reading deals just so I can break in the decks and get to know them and all that good stuff. So. My Instagram will be in, this, in the description box. Definitely make sure y'all check that out so you can hop on in the deal. I did a few readings last night and I'll be creating another deal today. Well, I already have one uploaded. So definitely make sure you go check that out. Those deals, those prices be unbeatable. Okay, so Earth Signs. What is it that they need to focus on before the new year? Earth signs. What is it? Oh, okay. So emotions. You need to focus on balancing your emotions. You need to focus on being more mindful. You need to focus on being more expressive. You need to focus on, um, you know, balancing your emotions, basically. Finesse. One more card. For some of you guys, you could be pregnant. Cash all, she's pregnant right now. So for some of y'all, you could be pregnant. You could be finding out that you're gonna be pregnant. One more card, please. Oh, one more card, please. Just one card. Thank you. Okay, so. We have emotions, finesse, and hustle. So honestly, I see that a good amount of y'all need to learn how to balance y'all emotions. Um, people tend to get over on you because you don't know how to balance your emotions. It's like instead of speaking your mind and setting, instead of being vocal, you tend to sugarcoat things. You tend to, you know, push things to the side, and that's how people get over on you because you're not speaking your mind. You're not sticking up for yourself. Um, let me open this door for Cleo before she start crying, crying. Come on. For some of y'all, before the new year, what you need to focus on is your money. Be careful with lending people money before this new year because you may not see it back. With the finesse and the hustle, you know, it's, it's, it's finesse in time. It's hustling time. I know the holidays is over now. But people are still struggling. People still need to get back on their feet from spending for the holidays or, you know, whatever the case may be. Right now is taking season. It's taking season. Definitely make sure you pay attention to um, scammers, to even friends or family who are going to hustle you out of your money. Be careful with that. And like I said, be careful with people getting over on you because you aren't completely in tune with your emotions. It could be something as simple as, you know, you lended somebody money last month, you lended them $100, but you're not confrontational, but you haven't seen those $100 yet. You haven't, they said they were gonna pay you back and you haven't got paid back yet, you know, but you're not confrontational. So you're just gonna wait until this person decides to pay you. Baby, they're not gonna pay you. You have to speak up, be vocal. 
that's that's just an example that doesn't you know that doesn't have to be your story for many of y'all but that's definitely just an example okay what else do the earth signs need to focus on before the new year before this year is over truth you got to speak your truth if that goes hands in hand with the emotions card you got to speak your truth in respect yeah you gotta you gotta speak your truth you have to be vocal you have to be open you have to be expressive you have to speak your truth in order like unfortunately people don't just respect other people simply just to respect them most of the time with certain people you have to earn their respect and you not being vocal you not living in your truth you not being expressive you can't really expect to get someone's respect you can't really expect to get you know just speak your truth express your emotions if you need to be confrontational be confrontational don't be shy about it. Speak up. Speak up. You know what you need to speak up about. I don't have to sit here and pull out the tarot cards and have to decipher. No, you know what you need to speak up about. Make sure you do that before the new year. Okay, so what does the earth signs need to hear before the new year? expectations don't seek anyone's approval period don't seek not a soul's approval that's something that you need to master which is you can't technically you cannot master that before the new year that's that's this is the new year is in a few days you know that's something that could take years to master so you definitely can't master that but definitely begin trying to begin learning don't seek anyone's approval don't expect much from everyone in general what else Ooh. what else do the earth signs need to hear before the new year Once again, shout out to my mom for getting me these decks. I love them. I love them. Well, damn. These cards are flying. One card, please. What else does the earth signs need to hear before the new year? What else do the earth signs need to hear before the new year? Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. Oh, okay. I thought that was one card. It was four. These cards are pretty big, though. These cards are huge. What do the earth signs need to hear before the new year? Okay. Spaceship. Don't be afraid to sing. So some of you have a hobby for singing. Some of you may be thinking, like, should I get into the studio for the new year? Like, you know, should that be something that I start in the new year? Yes, you should. For some of y'all, you're thinking about taking singing classes. Do that. For some of y'all, you could be thinking about singing in a choir in, um, in the church. Do that. For some of y'all, you have a passion for singing. This is not going to resonate for everyone. So, you know, don't sit there and comment, oh, I can't sing for my life. This doesn't resonate. This part is not going to resonate for everyone. But the people who are into music, whether you don't sing, you're into producing or rapping or even acting. Those of you who are into the arts, don't be afraid to pursue that going into the new year. Let me get one more card. Flower, be honest with yourself. That goes hand in hand with the emotions card. That goes hand in hand with the truth card. Be honest with yourself. Be honest with others. Be vocal. Don't, it just keeps saying that. And then at the bottom of the deck, Clover, release your guilt. You guys, you guys need to get more in tune with your emotions. You are a, a human being, just like I'm a human being. We get hurt. We get angry. We get upset. We get happy. We love. We, 
we're loved. Like emotions is a natural human being feeling. Even animals got emotions. Don't be afraid to speak on your emotions, to share your emotions, whether it is anger or resentment or happiness or guilt, whatever the whatever the, the feelings may be. Don't hide it, don't sugarcoat it, don't suppress it. Your message throughout this whole reading continuously is about your emotions. Focus on that. But thank you guys for watching. Make sure I like this video, please, and thank you. Um, make sure y'all subscribe if you haven't already. Once again, you can book your personal reading through the link in my description box. I have my Cash App and PayPal just in case you would like to tip me. And definitely make sure you guys follow my Instagram that is down below in the description box. Um, like I said, I'll be doing a deal. The deal is $8.88. $8.88. You can't beat that. Then I have a message of the week deal which the message of the week alone is $6.66. And the advice that goes with it, if you would like advice, so both the message of the week and the advice will be $12.22. Unbeatable, unbeatable prices. So definitely make sure you go ahead and follow my Instagram and book those readings. But thank you so much for watching, you guys. Bye.